In this equation, we have potassium plus water giving us potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. To balance it, let's count the atoms up. One potassium, two hydrogens, and then just one oxygen. Over on the product side, we have the one potassium. And then for the hydrogens, we have one plus the two. So we have three hydrogen atoms, and then we have one oxygen. Let's get this to be an even number, and then that'll make the balancing a lot easier. So the only way really to do that is to put a two in front of the KOH. So now we have hydrogens. Let's update that. One times the two plus these two here. So we have four hydrogen atoms. We also have oxygens one times two. We have two of those, and then potassiums one times two. We have two potassium atoms. Why don't we put a two in front of the water and that'll fix the hydrogens and that'll fix the oxygen. So we put a two as our coefficient. Hydrogens two times two, that gives us four. So the hydrogens are balanced and then one times the two, that gives us two. We've balanced the oxygen. All that's left is this potassium here. We need two of them. We put a two as the coefficient, one times two, that gives us two. And this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K plus H2O yields KOH plus H2. Thanks for watching.